actually taking a lot more biotin if you don't have any deficiency increases hair fall. It's the opposite. So when it comes to supplement, it's a big, huge business having supplements for hair and nails. You know, I've seen a lot of supplements that are marketed. But to be honest, you don't necessarily need all those supplements. Even just getting a healthy, a good uh, type of multivitamin should be sufficient enough. Because a lot of the times, the supplements that you get, you know, the ones that are B vitamins or the biotin, you know, all these vitamins uh, that you get for hair and nail, they are, they have a lot of vitamin E and other vitamins and minerals that are, that exceed the limit of how much your body needs. So let's say in most cases, vitamin E uh, can become very toxic um, if it's above a certain amount. And usually if you're taking multivitamin and hair and nail supplement, you're basically having vitamin E toxicity and it kind of reverse says the condition. So a lot of these uh, nutrients that are known to improve hair health, they are naturally found in foods and you don't necessarily need it through supplements because usually when you get it to supplements if it's too much it backfires it always backfires because there is a lot of research looking at biotin looking at iron looking at uh, collagen all of these if you don't have deficiency for them then it's really not doing you any good to take these supplements actually taking a lot more biotin if you don't have any deficiency increases hair fall it's the opposite so really, I don't think you need separate supplement for hair and nails as long as if you're eating fruits and vegetables, then you don't even need a multivitamin. But just getting a general multivitamin helps. Although there are some vitamins and supplements that you can, that will be good for you, stuff like vitamin D. Because, you know, we're living in Canada. We don't get enough sunlight and we don't get enough vitamin D through foods. So yes, getting a vitamin D supplement, if you are... Uh, low in vitamin D from your blood test, then yes, you need that. Also, omega 3s, if you're not eating enough fish, then omega 3 is a good supplement to have. Probiotics are important. Uh, there's more and more research coming on that, so that's okay to have. And if you're iron deficient, then iron supplements are okay too. So if you're not deficient in vitamin D or iron or biotin and zinc and all of that, you don't need um, these supplements. Mm -hmm.